Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to reduce your Windows system resources. Now if you look inside Task Manager, this will give you an idea of all of the processes and the utilization of Windows. Now of course people love to brag about their processes and how low their processes are, but a lot of this is done at the very early stage of installing Windows. Another thing that they forget to mention is most of this is done in a virtual machine as well. As you can see here, utilization is pretty much 7 or 8%, and we've got processes of 287. You can see the threads and handles and a bunch of other information there. If I give you a quick glimpse of the memory, you can see the committed memory and also the in use uh, memory as well, right there. So what can you do to this system to bring those processes down? So as you can see, all of the processes are listed here. And I'm going to explain to you why it's very, very difficult to make this super low and keep it super low on a normal computer. The results you generally see on a Windows-based system is normally either a virtual machine or it's either a fresh install. So Chris Titusdeck has got a YouTube channel and he's got a video saying cutting Windows process in half. Is this possible? Yes, it is on a fresh install or a virtual machine. But once you've got a PC that has got all of your stuff installed on it and it's been running for a while, it's not going to be possible. So I wanted to explain to you and show you his tool here. It's quite a useful little tool, but it definitely won't be able to reduce my processes by half. And the reason for that is because there's lots of other things going on on your computer in the background. So let's go ahead and copy this code here. And this is on uh, Chris Titus Tech's website. I'll leave the link in the video description. And basically, we'll open up his application and we'll give it a go. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be able to reduce my processes by half, but we'll give it a go and see what happens here. So we've got our uh, terminal open. As administrator, I'm going to copy Chris Titus Tech's uh, code in here, and this will allow us to download the application and open it up. He's done quite a lot of work on this application. It's got a great installer section here, which allows you to install browsers, uh, communications, and also development documents, games, and other things like that. So you just put the check marks in, and you can do a install of this sort of stuff. But we're really interested in the tweak section because we are basically going to try to de-bloat Windows, and we're on Windows 11 here. And I think Chris's tool works on uh, Windows 10 as well. Now, this is not to try to debunk Chris's tool or, you know, try to say that he's lying to you in any way, shape or form. It's just basically showing people on my Discord server who people ask about de-bloating Windows and things like that to try and make them understand that it's not always possible to do certain things with Windows. You've got some limitations, and I'll explain that in this video. So you can see here, we've got some essential tweaks. And what this does is you can put the check marks in to uh, create a restore point, run ONO shut up, which you can already download yourself manually if you want to. And you can also disable telemetry and a bunch of other stuff in here. I think Chris has tried to keep this on the more safer side of things. I think his earlier scripts were removing things that it shouldn't have been removed for some people when they were complaining. So I think he's made a much more safer option available for people here to run without breaking people's computer. Now, there is some areas up here which we can do, which is the recommended section, which is desktop, laptop, and also minimal up the top here. And what you can do is select any of these uh, areas here for your desktop, laptop, or minimal. And this will give you uh, the check marks automatically in the uh, boxes here, and then you can run that selection. And there's also enable dark theme, and there's also performance plans, which are basically at the ultimate performance profile if you want to. You also have some other areas here, which is for your DNS, which allows you to uh, change your DNS section, whether you want to run a more secure DNS. Now, we're not going to be covering any of the other stuff here, which is to configure features and also fixes and other things like that. So we're going to leave this alone and we're just going to be basically running the tweaks here. And uh, but that's what we're going to be concentrating on here. 
because this is supposedly going to reduce our processes by half, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to be able to do, but we'll give it a go. But here we have also DNS here, which you can put a different DNS on like Google and other ones like that. But once we're happy, we can then go ahead and run our uh, tweaks here. So just hit the run tweaks section. And also a good thing about this script, it does allow you to undo the tweaks as well. Let me just quickly show you the uh, DNS there. You can change the DNS as well. So let's quickly run these tweaks and reduce our processes. So I'm going to hit the run tweak section and this box will open up and you can see here it says done. It's done a bunch of stuff in the background. And to be honest, there's not a lot that's actually been disabled. The feedback, application suggestions, tailored experiences, advertising IDs and things like that. Uh, there's been some services that have been changed and it's done a bunch of stuff here. Uh, which has been changed by the application. So what we need to do here now is restart the system for this to take effect. And then we can see uh, the processes and whether it has reduced them by half on this real computer that's been uh, being used every day. So let's go ahead and take a look at the task manager here. Stuff is still being loaded in the background. So you will see that processes climb up a little bit because it is still uh, loading some bits in. So it will change, as you can see here. And as you can see, there has been a reduction in processes, but it's still 233 processes. So it's come down from 280 down to 233. So why hasn't it reduced this by half? Why can't it do more? Because your computer is being used by a bunch of different other things like your antivirus program, which has layers of security, which needs processes. You've got other things in here, like your graphics card drivers that are running, and they have a bunch of different processes running in here. You've got all of your RGB uh, software, which will install a load of different services to control your motherboard and your lighting and things like that. You can see there's other software on here. Armory, uh, Corsair, uh, a bunch of other stuff that we used, your antivirus stuff here. And this is what is causing all of these processes. It's not going to be able to do much with those. Fan control software, which is probably creating a bunch of services as well. If you've got all your Logitech peripherals, like your camera, your mouse, your keyboard, that's all going to need software. And that's running services here. You can see here we've got NVIDIA running here. We've got power toys and a bunch of other stuff, uh, your VMware for your virtual machines. And this is what is causing a lot of the services and build up of these services. Chris's tool is not going to be able to remove any of this stuff. So we haven't cut it by half. And this is not a sniper Chris Titus tech at all. This is just to say to you that if you've got a brand new freshly installed Windows or you're running a virtual machine, of course it's going to reduce them because you haven't installed all of your stuff yet, your software, your applications, all of your games and all your other bits and pieces that are having services and other bits running inside Windows. As you start installing all this stuff, it's going to start to blow up Windows and this is where the problems will uh, arise. So really, uh, when people ask me, just run this, it does that. It doesn't always work like that. Now, RGB is a big part in today's world, and people love to have their RGB in their computers. And this really does take a lot of different software if it's not all from the same manufacturer. You can see we've got MSI here, we've got ASUS, we've got um, another types of software which is being used. And these will create their own services and processes on your machine. Now, if you really do want to get down and dirty and reduce the footprint of Windows processes, then you're going to need something like NT Lite and create your own light version of Windows, which is going to basically remove a lot of those components from Windows. And this will reduce the amount of processes by quite a bit. Again, this is more of a different video, more of advanced level, but you can use things like oh no, shut up 10. But I think Chris's tool is actually using this. Uh, in the background and removing this stuff as well. So really, uh, you're not going to be able to go 
all the way down to half if you've got, say, like 280 like I got. The most I got is 236 or something along those lines, which is a reduction, but it's nowhere near as much as what people think they're going to get. And that's because, again, you've got all of your stuff installed on that PC. And this is going to be all of your antivirus programs and other things like RGB software and loads of other stuff. So bear that in mind. Now, if you do want to run a real bare bones system, if you're a gamer and you don't want to have loads of processes running, then you can use a Windows Lite version and basically don't install an antivirus, have Windows Defender ripped out and really run a bare bones system where you're not using a lot of processes and system resources on that operating system. This probably isn't really uh, as functional for your general user who likes to have Photoshop, Adobe software, and all this other stuff installed, which will create their own processes and services as well. So if your computer is used like I use it every day, then it's very unlikely that you're going to get that running a super low uh, all the time because obviously you need loads of different software and loads of different stuff installed on that computer. So if you're running a bare bones gaming system with Windows Lite and hardly anything on there, then of course it's going to be running lower. Uh, you know, but not everyone can run a system like that because obviously the type of system that they have. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. Just so you know, this is not a stab at Chris Titus. This is just basically me showing you and explaining to you. The reasons why you can only expect certain amounts of things from these particular types of scripts anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you i just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i appreciate the support hopefully i'll see you on the discord server for a chat if not i'll catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching bye for now